What's up guys, here is Gaming here and welcome back to another Fortnite Creative tutorial. In today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make races in Fortnite Creative. As you can see we now have the new vehicles and the checkpoint devices in Creative and it's absolutely awesome. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a race out of these. Really easy, really simple settings. You don't have to do much but once it works, it works perfectly every time and it makes it amazing. But first of all, I'm going to go over the terrain that you can use. Certain terrain in creative makes the cars go slow. As you guys know, in BR, if you go on uh, certain terrain, it makes the car go slower than it does on the roads. However, this works backwards for some reason. R some roads make the car go slower than the terrain. The terrain actually makes it go faster for some strange reason. So I would recommend using... The terrain in creative and i will show you the speed differences i believe this one is okay as well um so let's jump in the taxi real quick and as you can see we are slowly getting to 60 mile an hour at that point and then on here you're going to be limited to 50 mile an hour so let's jump in here as you can see we are a lot slower and let's jump out and then if you move to the terrain it suddenly gets a lot quicker so i would absolutely recommend using as you can see here you're now at like high speeds uh so that per piece over here and obviously terrain pieces try not to use those pieces uh those pieces you can find them in the uh road gallery right at the bottom of the prefabs just down here um i believe there so if you uh, pick up the street gallery b be careful of which pieces you check uh, you check Make sure before you do anything, place down the road that you're going to be using and test it to see if it is actually working. Don't start building stuff because you might end up with a terrain piece that is absolutely terrible. As you can see, grass is bad as well, so do not use that. Try to use sand or just keep testing certain terrain pieces until you find the correct one. Right, moving on from that. Uh, I hope that helped you. If it did, make sure to hit that like button. Uh, subscribe because I do these tutorials all the time on new game modes, new devices and stuff and click the bell to get notified when I upload. Now let's move on to uh, actually building the race. Okay, so here's how it works guys. You spawn on the spawn pad. You're going to be stood here and then it's going to teleport you straight into the race. It's going to count down from 3 to 1 and then it's going to let you go. Head through the race, finish and then as you can see when you go through the final checkpoint, it's going to say finish race in 5 to 1 and then on 1 it's going to end the game and you're going to win. Obviously you don't want to do it that fast. Uh, I will show you how to change those settings in a second. But that is how the race works. Now let's show you how to create it. So you want to start off with spawn pads. This is going to be the viewing area to the race. Maybe you've, maybe you've got something down the side like a box that they can stand in or spawn in. You don't want them to go onto the racetrack yet. Uh, it's going to spawn them on there instantly anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But you can put these spawn pads anywhere, whether it be in a box or whatever you choose. And then these are the settings you want to change. So team, you want it on one. When players spawn, transmit on one. So that's going to be team one. Second player is going to be team two. When players spawn, transmit on channel two. And then every player you get, you want to go up. So team three, channel three, team four, channel four, and so on. Uh, and they're going to be assigned to the car so as you can see here if I go into the vehicle spawner owning team is going to be player one visible in games that's just going to remove the spawn pad as you can see it's blue but in game it'll be not there uh, radio can be whatever you want and then assign driver uh, when receiving from channel one and when player exits vehicle put that on channel one as well so that means when a player tries to exit mid-race, it won't let them. It'll just teleport them straight back into the car so they can't run around the track. Let's move on to the second car. As you can see, similar settings, but you just want owning team on two. That's the only setting you want to change that. So for the third vehicle, you want owning team on three and so on. Copy in the spawn pads. Uh, now let's go to the game start device. So they're going to be sat in the cars waiting for the game start. And this is going to be... Uh, the timed objective and you want it on start when round starts on yes uh, time three seconds time a label race starts so race start in three seconds and when completed transmit on channel five when that means that when this is done it's going to turn off these barriers and you want these enabled during games all you want the zone shape box as a hollow uh, because if you're 
don't have it as hollow, it's going to glitch out the vehicle inside. So make sure to put that on hollow. Barrier height, that is completely up to you. And disable when receiving from channel 5. So you want this device to start on game start and disable these to then start the race. Uh, that means that the players are going to be stuck in that box until the game starts so that they can't just start driving straight away and obviously have a head, head start. So now all players will be starting at the same time. So make sure that this device and these barriers are on their own channel. Uh, try not to get them mixed up with the spawn channels. Um, so yeah, that is game start and uh, the uh, starting area. Now let's move on to the checkpoints. These are pretty simple as well. You just want to place however many checkpoints you want, go into it, checkpoint one, and allow player to pass without a vehicle. So if you just want this to be a race with vehicles, make sure to turn that on to no, so that they can't just walk through here and obviously uh, hit the checkpoint. And then you want that on checkpoint one, checkpoint two, checkpoint three, and then so on around the race, you want it to keep going up in checkpoints. If you want to do a loop, so if you want this to be a big circle with a race around a circle or a figure eight, you want to place multiple checkpoints it's going to be so let's say there's eight checkpoints going round already uh it's not going to work by coming back through the same one so you're going to be wanting to click that and place it back down and then you're going to want to go from eight to nine ten eleven and so on make sure you put them next to each other otherwise having the same checkpoints won't work so anyway now here is the final checkpoint so when you're on Checkpoint 3 on this race particular, uh, you want to go up to it and you want to change these settings. So checkpoint number 3, uh, allow players no and then when checkpoint completed, transmit on channel 3. So then what that go that's going to do is be the finish line for this race. So when they've hit that and gone through on channel 3, you want to place the timed objective and you want it on 5 seconds, race finish, it's on the timer label. Start when receiving from channel 3 and then when completed on channel 4. So what that's going to do is when they hit the checkpoint it's going to trigger 3. And then when this timed objective counts down from 5 it's going to complete and then ch trigger channel 4. Which will then trigger an uh, end game device as you can see there. It's going to say a winner, loser depending on who goes through the checkpoint. And then activate when receiving on channel 4. And then what that will do is end the game and there you go the winners who have gone through the checkpoint last will win and the people that did not make it through the checkpoint will be a loser so yeah that is how this race uh game mode works i hope this helped any questions make sure to comment down below and i will be sure to try to answer them and i will be sure to uh come out with a race at some point for you guys to enjoy so make sure to stick around for that hit that like button if this video did help you uh subscribe for more Click that bell so you get notified when you upload in the future. And I will see you all in the next one.